So in this video, I'm going to show you the results of using the new live driving directions functionality in Kraken. Uh, I'm going to start off with showing you just how to use it. It's super, super simple. Uh, you can put in a keyword here, put in your origin. I'm just making this up. Um, <laughs> uh, we'll choose two different main streets. So there you go. It's origin, destination. You can search by name, Duncan Donuts. Oh, I guess that's not how Duncan. Yeah, Duncan. So you can you, you can search by business name or just put in the address. Um, that's really all there is to it. You hit calculate route and then you hit start drive and it'll go through in real time and drive all the way to your destination. Now, this is a form of or this is something that a company's click through rate manipulation because one of the actions that people would do after finding your business is potentially looking up directions and driving to it. So it's another engagement signal. Um, and then this follows along in real time. Um, so this route takes 25 minutes. I'll show you later in the video uh, and step by step. I want to show you the before and after this was from March 14th when I was doing these scans. And I started off with this section right here where there's four number twos. And so I found an address in each one of these little spots and I got them to turn I, three out of the four turned to number one. And now you can see this is two days later and it's still the same way. Uh, and so now we're going to dive in and actually go through it in real time in my recording. Uh, and I don't worry, I skip over the actual 25 minutes of driving. Uh, but you'll get to see in real time, I run the scan and then I go pick out a point where I'm ranking number two instead of number one. And I find an address in there and I do the driving directions and we do that two or three times in the video and I run the scans again, you, you know, so within a couple hours, you see this change and then it's still the same way three days later. You can see this spot right here. There's some other company that has the number one position. And if we look at it, it's this Moz Web Media. Uh, and so we scroll in and we look at where they are. And so they don't even have the number one position like right next to it. They've got these three. But I, I set it up to do the live drive and I was like, you know, well, that's not really like from the location where I'm not ranking number one. I wanted to do live drive directions from the spots where I'm not number one. So I picked the Walmart Supercenter address, and then this Mediterranean kitchen. I did two live drives. Uh, you can see that this scan was run at 11.55 a.m. today, and then this one was at 1.53 p.m. after I ran both of these. So one was at 12.18 and one was at 12.19 from those two different addresses. And after that, I went from <clears throat> these three positions being number two, uh, it, it adjusted a little bit, but basically the, the areas, the two areas that I drove from right here, now I'm number one. And so now what I'm going to set up is I'm going to find a place that's right over here, right in between these two twos. We'll, we'll do JC Penny. That's right in the middle. Um, I'm going to do the whole name actually, because I think yeah, see, it, it translates to an address. Um, I just want to do it from somewhere that's well known. And so we'll do calculate route, and then I'm going to do start route. So it doesn't actually show up with the name if you... So like here's one in the history that I did where it actually shows up with the name, which I think... It... My guess is that if in your driving directions you have the business name rather than just using the address, it's a more significant engagement signal than if you're just using the address. Now, if you've done all your brand awareness campaigns or your brand CTR or whatever, if, if your brand is established, your address is part of your brand and Google will recognize that. I just... It, logically, it makes sense if in the driving directions you actually use the name of the business rather than the address. So anyway, I'm not going to make you watch while this whole thing runs. I'm going to pause the video and come back after this finishes, and then we will run another heat map and see where we're at. All right, live drive has completed, so now we're going to 
regenerate the same map, same keyword, and we'll check on it. All right, the scan is done. Moment of truth. Uh, this is what it looked like before. So this was earlier today. We had uh, four number twos. I think I said three in the earlier. Uh, then we went down to two. And this was the one we just ran, and then boom, now we're down to one. So I'm going to push this even further. And let's, oh, shoot. All right, let's zoom in and get something from right here. Um, we got a Walgreens. Um, I'll just do it from this one. That's got enough reviews, 52. So I'll copy that address. <clears throat> just because that's the easiest to get right from the map. Hit that, calculate route, start drive. And then I'm going to pause it and we'll be back. All right, the drive is completed. So we're gonna regenerate on this one. I'm just showing everybody so you can see me doing it as, as I'm regenerating the, the same map. I'm not doing different keywords. Same map, same scan size, same square miles. Uh, and so we'll give that a minute and let it run. All right, so this should be done by now. Haven't looked at it yet. Oh man, but I can see that number getting lower and lower. So here is a little bit higher because of the 14 and the 12, but it actually looks like we still have the two and then this two came back. Um, but the average is going lower. So I'm gonna keep this going. I know this video is getting a little long, but I'm, I'm trying to show this in as real time as possible to show you how fast you can see some of these results. So I'm gonna do it from a little more well-known spot in this area. Let's do Tony's Fresh Market. I'm gonna copy the whole name. Tony's Fresh Market, calculate route, start drive, and then we'll be back. All right, drive is completed. I'm going to go over here, run the new map, and we'll check on it when it's done. All right, back again, completed live drive. Oh, did it already finish this? It just kicked off this map. Looks like it did. So we still got that pesky too. I was really hoping to turn it all the ones in this video. Um, Hang on, is that even in the same spot? Did it move? That's in the same spot and it even turned the kitty corner one. Oh no, so there is one in between. Um, all right, hang on. Well, let's go back to the original. So this first scan was done at 11.55 a.m. Uh, it, you know, it took me a while to go through the day. The second scan wasn't until two, you know, I got other stuff going on. But if you look at the trend throughout the day, I went from 1.83 to 1.66 in 144 square mile area where I was specifically doing driving directions for these four different points. And I was able to turn three of the four from twos into ones. Um, you know, if... If this was the only time that I saw this working, I might be skeptical. I might be like, okay, yeah, you know, like there could be a number of factors or whatever. But like the fact that I can run these, uh, run a live drive and then run a new map and it's lower from the point that I ran it from, like, come on. It's, yes, there could be other factors. It's hard to know exactly what Google's doing. But I've done this too many times now where I'm seeing the same results for completely different GMB profiles in completely different areas. And so it's not just like a guess. We know that Google uses user engagement signals to confirm ranks and CTR is definitely a factor because, I mean, without going off on a tangent, Google doesn't really understand websites as well as people think Google does. So it relies on the user engagement to confirm where Google is putting something, you know, and that's why, 
you gotta have good titles and meta descriptions and all that good stuff uh, to actually get your CTR up. Anyway, I won't get all into that. But this is a form of CTR, I guess. <laughs> it's the uh, same realm. Uh, and it is obviously within the Kraken, which does... I don't want to show all my campaigns. Um, which does all sorts of CTR stuff that you can check out in my other videos if you're curious to see how I manipulate Google profile ranks and website ranks through CTR manipulation. Um, anyway, I hope this was helpful. Kraken is an awesome tool. I've been using this thing for years. I've seen tons of results with it in all sorts of different areas. Uh, hope that helps. See ya.